purpose is how I can raise up ordinary men, turning them to become supernatural beings, financial apostles, making life better, bringing people from the dungeon of sin, bringing them into the faith, planting their feet, and rising them. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Everybody came. I come out. I am not going to stay in the village. No more in the village. No more in the village. No more in the village. Shout that amen three times. Thank you, Jesus. So they loose the donkey. They loose the donkey. They loose the donkey. Now, when they loosed the donkey, he said, bring him to me. This is the problem. Some of us, as soon as we are delivered, we don't return back to the master who delivered us. This is the problem. We get financial breakthrough, carry our baby, and we forget to say thank you. We don't even know him. Why did he say, bring him to me? It's because I am setting him free for him to encounter me. You can't start this year in sin. You can't start this year without knowing Jesus. You can't start this year without a personal encounter with him. I ask you, is it all about miracle or knowing the one that gives the miracle? You can oh my enemy. He said, he said in Luke chapter 19, verse 30, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, and in which at your entry ye shall find a court where on yet never a man sat. Loose him and bring him what? Either bring him to me. Some of you get your miracle and you run from him. And that is why when you run from him, you meet the enemy that stopped you before. The only way to sustain your deliverance is to be in the presence of God continually. Psalm 91 verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place. The word dwelling mean you are remaining. You make the secret place of God your spiritual habitat, your living place. Not visiting. Some of you are visitors. You visit God when you have problem and after God set you free, you run away. Anywhere God deliver you, that is where you should stay. Anywhere God deliver you, that is where you should stay. Forget about I am born in this indigenous church. I was confirmed here. Yeah? I was in mass. Yeah? That has nothing to do with what I am saying. Anywhere God deliver you, that is where you should stay. Where you don't stay there, you are ungrateful follower. Ungrateful follower. Jesus is the leper. And only one came back. He cleansed them. But that one that came back was made whole. The other ones were cleansed. But that one that came back to say, Thank you, Master. He was completely made whole. Because there is difference between cleansing and making whole. Some of you, you get your miracle you don't know God. There is an opportunity for you to start this year with Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the latest news in town. You can receive miracle and go to hell. You can receive prophecy and still go to hell. 
You can receive deliverance and still go to hell. But you cannot receive Jesus and go to hell. Because after your miracle and your deliverance and your financial breakthrough, Jesus is still interested in your soul. It is the will of God. John John 2, John John 2, that you may prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospered. It's a tripartal prosperity. The prosperity of your finance, which has to do with wealth, the prosperity of your health, which has to do with your body, and the prosperity of your soul, which has to do with eternity. If you don't have Jesus, you are out of men most miserable. You need to know him. You need to know him. Now, that you are delivered does not mean that that is the end. There is something bigger than deliverance. And that is partnership with him. Relationship with him. Continuity with him. Knowing the God that we serve. They that know their God how shall be strong and do exploit. How do you know God? By surrendering your life to him. How do you know God? By giving all to him. How do you know God? By making him your Lord and personal savior. How do you know God? By appreciating him remaining and dwelling in his presence according to Psalm 91 verse 1. Staying in the secret place of the most high. Abiding under the shadow of the almighty. Making the Lord your refuge, your fortress. Knowing that God is the only anchor to eternal life. It's not enough to receive miracle. Healing and miracles are children's bread. If you are after miracle, you will receive it. But what is the purpose of your life receiving miracle without Jesus? Oh, I dream of a nation where the youths of this country will not carry arms, but we know the savior of their life. Listen to me. It's time for us to understand. Even preachers who are supposed to tell politicians truth can no longer tell politicians truth because of their pocket. When the altar is empty of righteous message, wickedness will multiply in the land. When the altar is empty of righteous message, wickedness will multiply in the land. For righteousness are exalt a nation. Why sin is a reproach to the people. I told you last year. I said the seed we have sown last year is what is about to germinate this year. You might not understand. But listen to me. God is rising you, 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 to change the order in Nigeria. Ah, when God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, where he was going, the Bible said Abraham was interceding. And Abraham said, supposing you find 50 righteous, will you, because of the 50, spare Sodom and Gomorrah? And God said, why not? Supposing you find 20, will you, because of the 20, I mean, spare Sodom and Gomorrah? Can I preach to righteous people here? Because of you, 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 God will own Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria can't scatter. Am I talking to somebody here? Nigeria is too big than a man because God is behind Nigeria. Nigeria is not by accident the giant of Africa. Am I talking to somebody here? No man, no man, no individual can seize the peace of this country. No individual, every enemy of the government, enemy of the people, enemy of success, enemy of peace, I stand on this altar here and prophesy if they refuse to repent, judgment will eat them one after the other. Stay
Stay tuned. The man of God will be back. Worship Heroes at Champions Royal Assembly and experience a life transforming service. In Champions, we are happy people. In Champions, we are world based people. In Champions, we are people of praise. And we are our prayer generation. Visit us at our international headquarters at number one Ikolaba Street behind Deep Alive Biazin, Kubwa, Abuja, Nigeria. Or contact us on the following numbers plus 234-814-943-9447 or plus 234-807-213-3004. You can visit our website at www.championsroyalassembly.com. Come and experience power. power. To all our viewers that would like to visit our ministry, you can visit our website on www.championsroyalassembly.com or send us an email at championsroyalassembly at yahoo.com or contact us on any of these following lines plus 234-814-943-9447 or plus 234-807-213-3004 said this year is actually a year of judgment anyone who does not want Nigeria to have peace God will take them one after the other that amen is looking for my trouble I want to build house it is when there is peace so I want to go to school it's when there is peace I professor every enemy of this country that refuse to allow this country to go up if they refuse to repent I stand with a corrosive ascetic declaration they shall die one after the other this word I am declaring on this altar it is stronger than nuclear bomb this word I am declaring on this altar it is stronger than AK-47 am I talking to somebody here anyone sitting on the glory of Nigeria be it a cultic group be it individuals that refuse to repent that does not want the government to go up that does not want the peace of Nigeria I profess if they refuse to repent they shall die one after the other Shout that fire three times. Then the Bible said they brought the donkey to him. And what did he do? They cast and decorated that man. Meaning the garment of that man was changed. I change your garment. I remove the garment of sorrow, delay out of your body. I wear you the garment of prosperity. Oh. What they cast their garment on the cult. Not one cloth. It was a cult of many colors. From today, different kind of garment financial garment marital garment breakthrough garment political garment promotion garment lifting garment if that amen can be louder you receive your garment oh nobody 
nobody has ever sat on that man meaning the destiny nothing was working then jesus jesus sat on the donkey then begin to write begin to write am i talking to somebody here from today there will be glorification hey when they were saying hosanna in the highest what we call triumphant entry the donkey was taking step it was not jesus that was touching the palm trees it was the brother that was touching the palm tree it was not jesus that was touching the clothes and the wrapper it was the donkey i prophesy today you will get direct contact with money direct contact with breakthrough direct contact with success direct contact with victory direct contact with glory shout that amen let me hear you are <laughs> when they were praising jesus the donkey was sharing in the glory the donkey was shaking the tail i said as you praise him i'm around haha <laughs> i see bodyguard trying to prevent nobody to touch the donkey neither touching jesus am i talking to somebody here after this glorification no man can touch you again hey it's time for glory it's time for glory it's time for glory it's time for glory where do they take the donkey the jesus ride on the donkey out of the village to the city now i take you out of your village enter your city enter your city can you see electricity can you see light can you see social amenities can you see aeroplanes can you see victory you are no longer in the village you are no longer in the village you you you, you are no longer in the village shout that amen six times Hey! my destiny is not to die in the village oh i cannot die in the village my destiny is to fly a private jet my destiny is to be in the best in the best that is my destiny i can imagine the brother say oh thank you jesus i am out of the village i don't know how long you have been there but ladies and gentlemen this is the last time you will see yourself like this that airman needs a cooperation this is the last time you 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 this is the last time you will see yourself like this you are out of the village 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 when they were busy praising jesus and the donkey was shaking and vibrating some people came and said why are they praising you keep quiet and jesus said shut up if you prevent them from praising me from sharing this testimony about how i freed this man about how i'm riding on this man i will command the stone to share the testimony listen to me the last prophecy for today can you hear me well the testimony that god will give you this year nobody can close the chapter hey! 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 nobody can close the chapter even stones will bear witness that god has changed your story ay, 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 ay. even stone do you know why god used stone stone is adamant stone is strong stone is am i talking to someone it connotes and symbolizes hardship and god is saying that even the hard place of your life we cry out to say praise the lord bless the lord whatever stony part of your life that 
has refused to share testimony on that two hours right now there shall be testimony each time prophecy is released it's not a showmanship to showcase your life it's just a way to review to redeem God review to redeem why do we pick up one particular thing about your life and tell you so that when I tell you that you have a problem it shocks you then when I tell you God said this will happen these are things that have never happened you could believe because of the shocking thing that's the reason why sometimes names are called, phone numbers are given, descriptions are called, village are called, or certain situations are called. They are just there just for us to show that we can see. They are just an indication that God knows you. And what he's about to tell you about the future is real. The more sure prophesy word of God is the written word of God. When prophecy begins to move, from a direction where you are not quoting the word of God verbally to people but you are talking about things that pertain their life and their future and it does not contradict the word of God it becomes a rhema in a prophetic form so each time a prophetic word is released to you it does not fight the word of God it seeks to back up the word of God Somebody say professor. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Open my fire. Holy Ghost. Open my fire. You strange force. You strange force. No. Manifest yourself. What have you done to this body? Ha! What have you done to this body? My home has not progressed. Eh? My home has not progressed. Eh? She's been there in the village and I don't want her to build her. You don't want her to build. You don't. Eh? She will not build. Eh? She's turned as the as the as the God of the to hold his family. Eh? She's shy that she has money. Eh? Are you hearing? How many of you know this one? Do we not progress? Hey! Uh. How many of you are inside our body? Hey! Speak out. Now. Hey! Speak out. How many of you? You are many. You are many. Okay. How did you enter that body? Speak out now. Speak out now. How did you enter that body? When she started the project in the village. When she started the project in the village. She wants to come and be the mother. The father has no house. She wants to build for them. She wants to build for them. So that's how you enter the body. Yes. Uh huh. Shake belly, kato shake it down. You spirit. You. Sp what else have you done to the family? Speak out. What else have you done to the family? You spirit. What else have you done to the family? Speak out. Speak out now in the mighty name of Jesus. I hold them not to progress. You hold them. They have gone to school and they will not say anything good. Uh, okay. Their mother has been praying. Uh -huh. Praying I will not open the dress and I want to fast. I want to cripple her. Uh -huh. hey. And I killed the sister. You killed the sister. And I want to kill again. And you want to I kill again. And you want to stick kill. Uh -huh. She said she's a prayer warrior. She uh -huh. can't go fire church. Uh -huh. I will destroy her. Why did you allow her to come here? Oh God. Uh -huh. Leave me alone please. Uh, leave me alone. Jesus will not leave you alone. It's time to leave the body. I will destroy them. Uh -huh. Okay. Right now, you spirit of darkness, you are not permitted to enter anybody here. In the mighty name of Jesus, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. You're on the ground now give out free god bless you how are you my sister can you shake me can you shake me you see you see
Come back, my sister. Come, 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 come. Come. Why is she running? She doesn't know what has happened. Come, come, my sister. Come. Look at me here. Come. God bless you, my sister. Come. God bless you. God bless you. Stand up. Do you remember what you say? Say what? Eh? What did I say? You do not you do not you remember what you say? God bless you. Just calm down, calm down. You you said that you have tied the family and the destiny down. And Me? It can't happen. I've been praying for my family. Why must I tie it? My sister, you are free. That spirit, the spirit said he entered. Are you, do you have a building project? Yes, sir. So, for my parents. See it? Demons know what you are doing. No. My sister, you are free. See, see, 13 doors are open for the family. God said, the woman that invoked the spirit, as I saw the spirits running out of your body, they are going to that woman. Listen to me. You will come and testify about how she run mental. You are coming here to testify. <laughs>